Facial recognition is the worst thing being developed right now, and I'm including the pickle Snickers recipe. What the hell is wrong with you, TikTok? Facial recognition chips away at our privacy, our identity, and many things that make society work. It's gotten so bad that many US states, countries, governments, and the EU have banned the technology. When you look into this, one name comes up more than any other, Clearview. Clearview are the biggest facial recognition company around, but most people have never heard of them. They're like Jason Manzukas. He's in everything, but could easily walk down the street and nobody would notice. Unless, of course, that street has facial recognition cameras on it, but in which case, we'd all be fucked. Until recently, Clearview were working with law enforcement and governments, but Australia has recently said they need to delete all data on all Australians. Citing facial recognition carries significant harm to individuals. Clearview has also violated GDPR rules in the EU, and if you violate GDPR rules in the EU, you're more fucked than Ron Jeremy in the 90s. What Clearview does is being done by every other facial recognition company, so if they go down, the rest will follow. Let's look at who Clearview are, what they've been doing, and why, without knowing it, your face has been tracked everywhere you go without your consent. Part one, how does Clearview work? Clearview go online and find every available photo of you. They'll dump these photos into a database and then run an algorithm to recognize who is who. That means if there's a photo of you online somewhere, it's probably in Clearview's database. And this isn't just an innocent little stockpile of photos of your favorite celebrity. This is billions of regular people like you and me. Well, more you than me, but we're both in it. They'll be using your face to improve their system. They'll also be using that photo and the data around it to sell to police, militaries, or the government to make it easier for them to recognize you. But surely being able to identify a thief is a good thing. Sure, but it can also be used to track you without your consent. They're using our data to create a system to track us, which they can sell to people who might not have our best intentions at heart. The end result of all of this is that anytime you're within reach of a camera, that camera can identify you and tie you to information. Then the people that are buying that data can go, look, there's Simon, binge buying comfort food again. Here's his social media profile. We can see from his phone location that he was in that area at that time, so we definitely know it's him. So now we can sell this data to advertisers to target him in a more direct way. They'll make more money selling targeted ads to me than they will catching that thief. So who do you think they're gonna be more distracted by? Or if I go to a country where I've been critical of the government, spoiler for later in the video, they can track or follow me because they want to know who I'm talking to and now I've put my friends' lives at risk. Part two, facial recognition on social media. In better late than never news, Facebook has shut down its facial recognition system. Facebook created a system whereby when you upload a photo, it could recognize who was in the photo and automatically tag them. Credit where it's not due, this did become an opt-in feature later on. Facebook has said that it's deleting all its facial recognition data after selling it to Meta, whoever they are, which flags to me that there's probably gonna be some sort of legislation soon, and they ain't got time for that shit. There's also no word about what they're doing with the facial recognition tracking data from their Instagram filters. Oh yeah, did you think that was being done by magic? And they still do ask people to verify who they are with selfies. I'm sure all that data just goes in the bin and won't be sold to Meta to be used in their deep face algorithm. Oh, come on, they've just changed one letter. This is like when the Illuminati built Denver Airport and wrote New World Airport next to a Nazi painting. Wake up, sheeple! I'll put your tinfoil hat away, conspiracy Dan. Although they're not alone. Snapchat does it, LinkedIn does it, and recently, TikTok gave itself permission to track your face, which isn't how consent works, but we'll go with it for now. I've done a full video on why we shouldn't allow social media sites to verify our identity using biometric data linked below, because yes, I am fun at parties. But because it's great for advertisers to know as much about us as possible so they can narrow your worldview and choices until you buy more of their product, more on that in this video, Shops have started using facial recognition tools as well. And as soon as Amazon perfects its contactless store and starts selling that system to other retailers, this is only gonna get more invasive. More on how Amazon supermarket cameras mine our movements for data in this video. And while I'm shamelessly whoring out the links in the description, why not join my subreddit, Discord, or Patreon? All of those are linked below. This video has got more cheap plugs in it than home base. Well, I think facial recognition will only lead to better customer service. Oh, do you now? Well, I think it's pretty fucked up and it's leading us down a weird path where schools in the UK have put facial recognition cameras in their canteens. 
Personally, I don't think it's worth trading off my privacy to speed up the transaction time and making lunch more efficient. And that's coming from me. I fucking love comfort food. But our time is our most valuable resource. Yeah, but for the cost of implementing this system, the kids could have eaten for free. So I'm gonna side with free food and have him a privacy. Part three, what can we do about it? Not a lot. I'll just wear a mask. That'll throw it off. Actually, no. The pandemic has flooded these facial recognition databases with photos of people wearing masks, and so sped up the development of tools that can identify you with a mask on. Oh. I know, the pandemic has ruined everything. And the latest AI removes tattoos from your face to work out who you are. But there is something you can do about it. One of the best ways to fool facial recognition software is to wear juggalo makeup. Ah, oh, cool. Let's pretend one viewer, not me, I'm down with the kids. Let's pretend someone watching doesn't know what a juggalo is. Sure. Hello, Zoomers. Welcome to the channel. A juggalo is a super fan of the rap group The Insane Clown Posse, and it works because it switches between the light and dark spots on your face, so the algorithm thinks this is your jawline. Look, governments are doing their best to halt or stop the development of facial recognition, but for now, without knowing it, at any point, you could be in a virtual lineup. And if you're mistaken for somebody else, which happens an alarming amount, they could take stuff away from you. Some things might seem quite small or trivial, but others could include your job. If you live in America, you could try and lobby for the same GDPR protection that we have here in the EU, but that feels about as likely as finding out what happened to the three blokes who escaped from Alcatraz. I hear one of them now paints Nicolas Cage's face onto wooden spoons and sells them on Etsy. Doesn't China use cameras for this? That is the understatement of the year, Dan. China uses this tech right now to control human behavior and against the Uyghur Muslims, and they're fucking proud of it. You might ignore this because it feels distant from you, but if I were you, I wouldn't, as here in the UK, the Met Police are rolling out facial recognition bans, which have an accuracy rating of 19%. Once more for the people at the back. If four out of five doctors didn't know what was wrong with me before they started the operation, I wouldn't go to the hospital. And yet we seem to be fine with an 81% error rate in AI arrests. And that's not even mentioning the government fine you get privately. China is turning into my least favorite episode of Black Mirror. I wish we'd stop with all this biometric crap when we discovered that soap dispensers were racially biased. Hopefully, this is just the start of the end. Taking down Clearview should have a domino effect on the rest of the industry, but there are no guarantees. Facial recognition is a racist, sexist, invasive, anti-privacy tool that will only be used to control people. So until it's completely banned, before you leave the house, don't forget to paint a QR code on your face. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts on facial recognition and the future of the technology. Do you think it was good, bad? Are you happy with your photos being added to a private business's database without your consent? Did you even know it was happening? I'd love to hear all your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, you're gonna love this video next about how Amazon's contactless store is using your biometric data to work out your future choices so they can sell more crap to you. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and join my subreddit, Patreon, or brand new Discord. All of those are linked below. Godspeed, and I'll see you all next week.